One, two, three, four. Alimidae. We headed to Uranus. Five Georgia peaches and cream. You don't have to throw your boobs in the guy's face. Hey, that's my kind of girl. These women go absolutely crazy in competitive action. I threw my head back in ecstasy. I'm not going to flaunt my body. I'm a total idiot. Dana spread me down. You might as well be rolling on the ground with this guy. Don't even go there. Four get the act, one gets the date. The kiss is like throwing gasoline on a fire. It all starts now. Alimidae. One, two, three, four. Alimidae. <laughs> My name's John. I'm an independent investor here in Atlanta. Working as an investor can be very stressful. So what I like to do to wind down is to work out. The kind of girl I'm looking for is an independent woman. Very sexy, very athletic. The woman I'm with has to be a great kisser. Her lips touch mine. I see stars. She's a keeper. Alimidae. <laughs> In round one, we're going to start off at the bar with a couple of get-to-know-you drinks. My expectations are high, so let's just see what happens. Usually when I'm out, people notice my smile, my eyes, and people always notice my butt. My name is Jessica, and I'm an occupational therapist, and I know how to treat a man right, physically. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm Jessica. I'm John. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he looked like a really well-put-together guy, beautiful blonde hair. I get tired of all these guys hitting on me, so I've came here today to find me a true man. My name is Jessica. I'm a model here in Atlanta for Foley and Model and Talent Agency, and I love strip my stuff because I got it. How are ya? <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, John. When I met Jessica, number two, actually I was taken back a little bit. She reminded me of my ex-girlfriend. I'm open-minded, funny, and laid back. Every woman has a bitchy side, and if she says she doesn't, she's lying. My name's Gina. I work at headhunter.net. I hope you two have the requirements and skills necessary to please me. Hello. How are you? I'm Gina. I'm John. I'm John. It's nice to meet you. She kept her eyes on me, and I think that's real important. I'm going to check out the girls, see what they're all about, and basically come in there, wipe them all out. My name is Uli, which means night vixen in German. And you just got to meet me to find out why. I am. Ooh. Nice to meet you. I was pretty hot. I like the long hair. Oh my god, wow. What a bod, right? Forget about it. If I have to be ditzy, if I have to be cheesy, I'll do what it takes. I'm Dana, and I sell forklifts, and well, guys dig women that sell forklifts. Hi! How are you? I'm John. Hi, Dana. It's nice to meet you. She came in, smile was two blocks away, beautiful eyes, brunette, soft skin. Hey, that's my kind of girl. Oh, ladies, this is a limit date, and uh, we're going to walk into the billiard place here and play some uh, five-man cutthroat. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut one of you right off the bat. Um, and this is really hard for me. You know, this is, this is tough. Um, <laughs> Unfortunately, um, you look just like my ex-girlfriend, and I don't oh. think I can make it through the show. I'm so sorry. I'm so Me? sorry. Yeah. Oh my god. I apologize. No way. Sorry. He said that I look like his ex-girlfriend. Well, I guess she stomped on his heart. I had to cut her because I don't know if I can deal with that at this point. I was very surprised and I uh, actually admired John for being so bold. You look like the ex-girlfriend. I mean, what can you do? Goodbye. Oh, well. To all you ladies, he's not that cute anyway, you'll be able to see. But bye for now. Let's go ahead and play some pool. All right, Let's do it. Woo! -hoo. Everybody, everybody got it. Yeah. Got to start it off with a drink. A little question, you know, a couple of questions just to get to know each other. Tell me some of your goals and ambitions. <laughs> what I would want to be is, ultimately, I want to be a mom. I mean, I've got a great job, I've got an excellent boss, I make great money, and it's, I'm happy, but I want to have a family and stay home and bake and take them to soccer and swimming and whatever they want to do. What an impression. You already want to have children with a guy when you haven't even finished the first date with him. How do you feel about being a mom? That would be great uh, down the road. Right now, I just graduated from school and uh, I got a lot of life to live and a man to find. <laughs> Little things in order like that. <laughs> For you? Um, I actually am an occupational therapist and um, I, right now I'm really into my job and trying to get to know all the like different areas of it. 
I'm actually about three months away from um, owning my own clothing store. Hey, you have uh, nice clothes. Uh, <laughs> nice clothes. I like your clothes. Yeah, yeah. You like them? Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool, Willie, that you're opening up a store, but you don't have to throw your boobs in the guy's face. Come on. If you got it, flaunt it. You about to get this thing started? You ready? Let's go. Let's go again. Let's go. I took them to the pool table. It was really an opportunity for me to get to know them a little bit better. Who do you think is your biggest competition in this day? I don't think I have competition. Sorry, girls. To be so arrogant as to say there is no competition would be ridiculous because, you know, everybody's got a little something. But I think I play my own ball game. And you're either on board with me or you're not. Who do you feel is your competition? I think it all depends on who, you, what kind of person you're interested in. I think we're all very different. So as soon as I start realizing what you're into, then I'll know who my biggest competition is. Exactly. Yeah. Hey. I think she's pretty cool. We think that she's good. She's, she's the number yeah. one. My biggest competition. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I mean, I don't say one, but she's in there for the race. That was very nice and sweet, but I'm not going to let her win. I'm going to take her out. Oh. Well, things got a little race here, and yeah, it was it was good. I liked it. What's your sex? What's the sexiest thing you could consider about yourself? What what comes to mind? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Sex appeal. I would have to say that it's mostly my attitude, because I'm a no bullsh kind of person, and I'll tell you like it is. I wouldn't go as far as say sexy attitude. Maybe a little weird, quirky, obnoxious, but never sexy. I think people like that I'm a little bit different, just kind of exotic, like different, like people can't figure out where my background is or what, you know, what, so they kind of find it intriguing and I get a lot of questions about it. Um, they always say I have soft skin. Like, I don't know, it's kind of a random one, but it's, yeah, it's skin to be touched. Soft skin? Yeah. You want to touch my skin? Sure, I'd love to touch it. Very soft, very soft. <laughs> It didn't really seem like John was very interested because she had to like ask him to come over. You want to know mine? Yeah. I think it's honey. Nice. It's mine. She's showing her breasts and now her belly. She might as well be rolling on the ground with this guy. Coming up, who will John cut next? John is definitely going to eliminate Gina first. I think she definitely stuck her foot in her mouth one too many times. Jessica will be the one that gets cut this round simply because she lacks personality. I think the person getting eliminated this round is Gina, definitely. If I have my fourth left here, Uli, she'll be gone. Eliminate. <laughs> Who do you think John will eliminate next? Gina, Jessica, Dana, or Uli? Unfortunately, ladies, we have come to the point tonight where I have to cut somebody. Um, it's nothing personal. Unfortunately, it's going to have to be Jessica. I'm sorry. Hey, just a little too quiet, um, a little too reserved. That's fine. I'm sorry. No, no problem. All right. Thanks. Obviously, he's looking for something that I'm not willing to do. I'm not going to flaunt my body and um, act like a total idiot in front of people. I didn't see the effort. and. At this point in the game, somebody's got to go, so I chose Jessica. I'm a fun girl, and I'm not quiet at all, and I would have made this party a lot more fun than it's going to be. It's your loss. In round two, I brought the girls down to Bar Atlanta in Buckhead because I know it's a spot where you can kind of let your uh, let your hair down, have a good time, you know. I'm going to find out who's most essential. World famous Bar Atlanta, here we go. Ready to have a good time. Do a little dance. The girls and I changing some club clothes so we can go out for some dancing and having some good times. Being with the three of you, I know this, we're having a good time and everything, but there's got to be something that bugs you about these other two girls. I'll get y'all for dinner. You want me to go first? Yeah, I'll get up in the right place. Make sure Dana, right? I think that Dana acts like a child and she's young. And I think that Wooly um, could probably dress better considering she's opening a clothing store. Look at her. Tight, stuffy, please. Don't even go there. What bugs you about these two ladies? Well, uh, she's a kind of bitch, but you know, I mean, that's okay. She's not an artist, but it's like that. And you know what? She's just jealous because, like, I am. I'm okay. If 
I dressed the way that she did, I'd call me a bitch too. The dark thing going on. medium. I wasn't, you know, so straight that I wasn't fun, but yet I'm not so slutty that I'm easy. No, this this is something that's kind of personal. Would all of you say you got the skills? You got good kissing skills? The kiss that Dana gave me uh, lit me up. I had a spark going and it was like throwing gasoline on a fire. She whispered in his ear. She was too scared. That's not my style. So I whispered in his ear, and he laughed, and we were, we made a connection at that point. Lou's kiss was very sensual. Um, she knew what she was doing. We're at a really wild and crazy place here at the bar, and uh, I was thinking about a body shot. Uh, wow. Would anybody be interested? Yeah? <laughs> you want to go? The next thing you know, we're up on the bar, we're doing shots, whipped cream comes out, and it's just a fiesta after that. There we go. Please don't let the body shot out of my stomach. I threw my head back in total ecstasy because it felt so great. Our body was incredible. It was like licking whipped cream off of concrete. When I got Dana up on the bar, all I could think of was the soft skin. That's why I spent a little extra time up there licking and caressing. It made me smile. How many times do you have a guy licking your stomach? I liked it. It was good. Let's see if I can get close enough. When I got Gina up on the bar to do her shot, she wanted to do something from the neck, and it was kind of awkward because we, I didn't know which way it was going. Gina had a big problem about not having her body shot on her stomach, so she tried it on her neck, which was a total disaster. Gina just needs to loosen up. <laughs> the next thing I know, Uli puts me up on the bar, and she's doing a shot out of my stomach. Let me open that up for you. putting the whipped cream on his stomach and licking it out. It was incredible. It gave me a little tickling sensation, but hey, that's part of doing it, right? The next thing I know, Dana's spread me down. She's got my nipples. She starts to streak down the center of my chest, all the way down to my belly button. She starts licking it off. <laughs> Gina was nowhere to be found. She was off by herself so that her shirt wouldn't get, or her hair wouldn't get all dirty. As you can see, I made it safely out. Who will John cut next? I think that Gina will get the ax. Gina definitely is gonna get eliminated. Um, she's having no fun. She's not showing John anything. I'm gonna have to scream Uli because she screams whore, so it's gonna be Uli. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is John going to eliminate next? Dana, Gina, or Uli? This is the worst part of the show. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to eliminate one of you, and unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let Gina go. That's all right. John is obviously looking for something a little bit more shallow than I am. I like a girl who likes to have fun and kind of let her hair down, and Gina seemed a little she seemed a little tense. People search for years for something real that they're looking for, and John just let it go by eliminating me. And the next
next round, we're headed to Uranus. I picked Uranus to go to next because it's a fun bar. I'm going to be asking some real intimate questions. I'm going to find out which one of these girls is really social, I'm ready to let her hair down, and really let it all go. <laughs> to the dance floor? Well, at least the girls did. We started dancing. It was getting crazy and hot, and it was pretty fun dancing with Dana. They seemed to get really friendly, so I had to jump up there and kind of break up the party. I wanted to get in the middle of it. Uli definitely has the moves, no doubt. She'd been swinging her stuff. I had to get in there. So I decided to get up in there and show John who's really the one. After that, we cozied up on the couch for a few questions. And let me tell you, it got interesting. Does size matter? Does... Size of what? Does size... Does a size of a Not man. if you can pleasure a woman. I don't care what shape, form, or fashion. If you can make a smile on my face, you are good in my book. I mean, is it, is it something that's... It's, it's what the guy has up here as well as here, and it comes all out. You know, it all out. let's just face it. It's not pretty. I don't care what far or fashion. So basically, if it gets the job done, it's all right. You don't think it's pretty? No. Not at all. You don't think it's pretty? It's so pretty. It's Which one are you looking at? It's so pretty. Are you talking about a woman or a man? <laughs> Now that we've really gotten to know each other, can I have a real kiss now? I didn't want to go second, but I had to. And, and Uli went up there, man, she hit a home run. She was awesome. Final cut is next. A limited. <laughs> All right, ladies, here we are. Most extreme and unfortunate part of the date. I have to eliminate one of you. And it's not going to be easy. It's nothing personal, you know that. Uli. You're extremely sexy. You've got everything going, everything a man wants. Dana, you're outgoing and confident, and you're easy going and funny. And at this point, I'm going to have to say that I'm going to have to eliminate Uli. I'm so sorry. John than Dana because I still think she's all top and she's not going to walk the walk. John and Dana, I wish you both the best. I hope you have many, many children. <laughs> have fun. Good luck. Yes! I'm